Hello there, I'm Chachi Sanchez, and today we're going to get the latest MacWarrior 5 VR update up and running from start to finish, including how to download everything and where to install it and how to get it all working with the startup sequence. So I hope you like, subscribe, follow along, and thank you for doing the voodoo that you do. And let's get straight to work. <clears throat> all right, first off, if you haven't already, you're gonna to wanna to download a clean copy of MechWarrior 5 through Steam. Uh, I can't say for sure what mods do and don't work with VR as I'm not a MechWarrior 5 modder. So it's best to start with a clean slate and add on top of that as you see fit afterwards. But for now, the most important thing that we're gonna be doing here today is get VR up and running with MechWarrior 5. So let's get that going. All right, while we are waiting for this to download, <clears throat> We need to download some mods. In the description below will be three links that will get you the MechWarrior VR mod page. This will also have a quick start guide that you can follow along with yourself. It will have the link to the MechWarrior 5 mod compatibility pack. This is required to get all the mods up and running. And it will have the link to the PreyDog UEVR uh, injector made by PreyDog himself. What a homie. So these are all the things that you're gonna need. And for this one in particular, for the actual VR injector, camera's over here. For the actual VR injector, you're gonna need to disable your antivirus or whitelist it, or there's gonna be a lot of issues trying to download this folder file because it's gonna be flagged by antivirus. Don't worry about it. It's not a virus, trust me. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the UEVR Prey Dog Injector. Again, make sure that you have your antivirus turned off. When you download this, we go to the zip down here, and then we just save it in your master mod folder for all your mods for any game or whatever. I have my MechWarrior 5 mod folder right here. Save that. Next, we want the MechWarrior 5 compatibility pack. This is required to make sure all the other mods work. So make sure you have that downloaded. Oh, and see, here we go. We already got uh, Chrome block this because dangerous file download. We want to download dangerous file. Okay, good, done. UEVR is downloaded. Okay, we got the compatibility pack, check. Next, we want the actual MechWarrior VR mod. So we go to files and we go to MechWarrior VR. We want this one, manual download on the actual VR. This is a folder with all four of the mods and the compatibility pack, just in case you didn't get it. Next, we have the UEVR config and plugins. This one is absolutely required, and this is gonna be very, very special. We wanna just save it right here, and we're gonna be renaming that zip archive later. So be sure to keep it as a zip and don't extract it. Okay, so now that we have our four downloaded archives, we are going to grab the MechWarrior VR, the mod compatibility pack, and we are going to extract those here. Next, we're going to extract UEVR to its own folder. Perfect. Now, the last thing that we need to do is take this UEVR config, is we're gonna rename it to MechWarrior Win64 Shipping. And I have that pasted down below in the description and that's in the Nexus mod page um, uh, information as well. Keep it in a zip archive. This is what the UEVR injector is going to pull the information it needs for MechWarrior to play in VR from. So make sure that it's renamed and still in the zip archive. Now, after all of that, we need to grab our VR stuff and our compatibility. We're gonna copy from our master mod, mod, master mod folder. Go to MechWarrior 5 on Steam. So for the Steam library directory, you're gonna go to Steam apps, then common, and then down to MechWarrior 5 mercenaries. Go to the MechWarrior Mech 5 MW, go to the MW5 mercs folder, and then you go to the mods folder from there. You're gonna to wanna to paste all of those mods the four MechWarrior VR and the compatibility pack. So all five total mods. Once that's in there, we're gonna launch the game and we're gonna set it up for VR as well as turn on all the mods. So let's get to that step next. Things to note, if you've played MechWarrior 5 in VR before, um, uh, make sure to launch MechWarrior 5 without any command line parameters such as allow HMD and uh, D3, D12 or whatever. 
those were the previous methods that we got to run uh, Mech Warrior in VR before the Prey Dog Injector existed. So, now that we have the injector, let's get it set up and ready for that. I'm gonna wanna go to mods, make sure they're all ready. Good to go there. Okie dokie. And then we're gonna want to go to options and graphics. You're gonna want to put everything on low. View distance maximum, low effects quality, shadows low. Everything goes on low except for textures which, which can stay on maximum. So turn it all off. We just want to make sure the game runs. If you have more performance and you can bump up these settings later, then go for it. But right now we gotta make sure that it just runs. So we have all that spacebar to apply. What we need to do is keep this running and we need to have it set to borderless window mode or you need to be ready to alt enter to set it into windowed mode because we're gonna launch the actual UEVR injector. So to alt tab properly without it messing up your monitors or funking out and stuff, have it in borderless window or alt enter. And then we are going to alt tab over and then we're gonna go to that master mod folder and we're gonna go to the UEVR and we're gonna go double click on the injector. All right, VR plugins have been detected in the game installed directly. You may want to delete or rename this as they will cause uh, issues with the mods. You may also want to pass no HMD as command line option to this game. Good for us to tell them that. Want to open the plugins directory now. So yes. And then with this detected plugins in MechWarrior 5, click yes, go to the plugins directory and delete or move the Oculus and open VR folders. So Oculus, open VR. Delete. Oh, we will need to exit the game to do this step. Okay, try again. And we've deleted those folders. We need to import the config that will get all of this running properly with the injector. So go to your master mod folder and we go to that MechWarrior Win64 shipping zip folder that we renamed so that it will hook into it properly. We do that, boom. Okay, that's good. And then make sure that you have open XR selected and then nullify VR plugins underneath the inject button, which is right here. You're gonna to wanna to go to the drop down tab and you're gonna select Mech Warrior 5 whenever you run it. So let's get ready to run it in VR. You can do this basically however you need to with whatever headset you have, but I'm gonna go ahead and start my Steam VR. And then I am going to show you what's going on inside my headset as I look at my desktops through there. So let's swap over the filming to that. Okay, so now that we are in VR uh, and we are recording what we can see or what I can see in it, this is how I launch MechWarrior 5. So I'm in VR, I see my desktop, launch MechWarrior 5 through Steam. Steam to view the desktops. All right, so once we get to the main menu, we're gonna want to have it in windowed mode so that we can alt tab properly over to our UEVR injector. Now, we've done the import. We want to do the drop down menu and we are looking for MechWarrior 4 shipping. And then right here, boom, hit the inject button. And then here is the UEVR settings menu. You can turn this on and off with the insert key on your keyboard. Also, when you go down here to Steam, go to the now plane and then go to return to game. You are now in VR and you can see the main menu in VR and boom, we have the, all of the visual and stuff like that. If you want to tweak and do stuff, hit the insert key and this will pop up in your desktop and in VR. So that's how you tweak and do settings from there. Once you got it all up and running, you notice you don't have a mouse. So go to desktop and you can see your mouse. Now to get everything fully up and running, go to single player, get into some instant action and let's try things out. You'll notice that when you're in instant action and in the menus, you have your head tracking working like this. Hit the F10 key and that will turn off the VR. You can turn it back on by hitting it again. F9 will recenter the um, uh, HMD as far as where your VR look is going. And then if you want to know more key binds and stuff for the VR mod, go to the VR mod page on Nexus. All right, let's get in there.
Okay, now that she's done talking, we have what we were looking at earlier through the desktop. We're going to now select McWarrior 5, and then you hit the F10 key. Notice how it's not working, F10, boom. Now we are in our cockpit. Every single cockpit, every single mech is fully, fully modeled. Ooh, we need to use the uh, mini maps here to actually navigate. And uh, yeah, so Alpha one, one. let's get going. One, reporting in. We are standing by, ready to deliver the payload. Over. All right. So the main objective right here is to get ac instant action working, so that you can make sure that all of your stuff and your buttons and all of that is all working properly. That you know how to navigate with your joysticks. You know exactly what you're looking at. Every mech is going to be different, so you're looking at different places in different spots per mech. Make sure you always have your night vision and zoom ready to toggle. A lot of cool fancy stuff that you're gonna be doing now that you've never had to do before since you're actually piloting it like a pilot. So with that being said, um, we're gonna skip out of this and go to an actual mission to where I can see and show you guys a little bit more visually how cool the game is uh, in VR. Uh, with that said, this is pretty much the end of the setup tutorial part of the video. Uh, again, HOTAS setup links and information is down in the description below. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for doing the voodoo that you do, and if you want to see me do a sortie where I just go blast ass everywhere, then continue watching the video. If not, thank you for doing the voodoo that you do, and uh, I'm Chachi Sanchez. Till next time, stay safe and fly right. Y'all have a good night. Okay, so search and destroy. Oh, well. It's right there. Okay, so let's see here. This says AC20. We need a burst fire. We need a king crab. Wait a minute. Didn't we set the AC10 burst? Oh, perfect. Glad we brought this guy. And look, we're right here. All right, this is going to be amazing. Bro, get out of the way. Bro, bro, just get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay, cool. So let's start with taking the walls down. No, that's not right. Okay, okay, so that's grouping number two. Hit that building. Okay, so we're just gonna, I guess, soften this bad boy up here. Looks like we made it here just in time, Commander. We have you on on the approach. Commander. Happy to see some friendly mechs. Oh. Friendly. Oh, we're not destroying. We're 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 helping defend. Oh boy, if we're defending. Okay, right, right, right. Defense, defense. Okay, okay. Got it. Right. Right. Defending allies. I know what we're doing. Gotcha. Let's do this. Okay. Defend the city. Defend the city. Firing on the commander's requested target. Do we have any LRMs on this? Nope. All right. Just get ready for the all fire. Detected. They breached the perimeter. Whoa, whoa now. Okay, good gone shot. Copy. We're on it, sir. Wait for everything to reload. I think we're gonna go for leg shots. Missed. Alright, roll out. Now that I got my allies to cover. I <laughs> went right through them. You gotta jack the Orion. Heating. Uh, cockpit shot. Good, good, good. Okay, this thing. All right, overheat, but it's worth it. We cleared the deck. Okay, okay, come on, baby. Additional reinforcements. Bring All right, yourselves. we need to kill 18 more of them. Here they come. Focusing the shared target. Wait for it. Wait for a good shot. Now, got him. Good hits. Wait for a recharge. Blasted his leg. I'll let the allies take care of him. One shot. We're doing very good today. You guys need to take care of that little guy. I need to start hitting him.
Overheated. All right, got that little bastard. Come on, everybody, kill him, 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 kill him. All right, we good. We got him. Okay, keep rolling, keep rolling. Fourteen more. New target. Moving on large target. Crap! There goes our fuel reserves. Come on, need that sweet, sweet cockpit shot. Got him. That'll work. We cord him though. Can't get salvage. Good cockpit hit there. Oh, LRM. Helicopters. Helicopters. Target is done. Got him with the gauze. Give him the gauze. All right, keep rolling, keep rolling. Dude, this freaking missile boat here has just been destroying the town. And yet it's still at 94%. What the hell? It's like this whole thing is made out of walls. Uh-oh. That's no good. Target shared engaging. Target sent to hell. Okay, cockpitted him. The old, give him the old fire. Come on. Got him. They call me the sniper. All right, now we take a break. Good shot. Good shot. Showing no more enemies on the scope, Commander. Well done. Oh, wow. Are we done already? Oh, well, brilliant. Go us. <laughs> and that is how you play MechWarrior 5 in VR. I hope this has been a great demo of what you can do when you take the time to get everything all set up and done properly. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, doing the voodoo that you do, and, uh, Stay safe and fly right out there. I'm Chachi Sanchez. Y'all have a good night.